Hi everyone, and welcome back to Lingoni English. My name is Emily, and in this B1 video, we are going to talk about something called suffixes. Are you ready to get started? Then let's go. So what is a suffix? Well, we already learned about prefixes. So now it's time to move on to suffixes. If a prefix is at the beginning of the word, then a suffix must be at which part of the word? The end, exactly. So this is a set of letters that you put on to the end of another word and it changes the original meaning of that word. Here are a few examples. You can add L-E-S-S -S onto the end of the word fear and you've got fearless. Or full, F-U-L, to the end of a word, you've got thankful. So those endings are suffixes and they bring a different meaning to the original root word. Okay, so in this video, I'm going to give you five very common English suffixes so that you can practice and improve your English as well. Keep in mind that suffixes are very important too, just like with prefixes, because if you come across a word that you might not have seen before, it's almost like a little key or a little insight to help you kind of guess what that word, that new word means. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so the first one is ISM or ism. This just means belief. So maybe communism, right? Or Buddhism, narcissism, right? You believe that a narcissist believes that they are the best, the greatest. They suffer from narcissism, the belief that they're the best. Or pacifism. So the belief that you shouldn't have weapons or guns or hurt people. If you're a pacifist, you believe in pacifism. And speaking of pacifist, that brings us to our next suffix, I-S-T, so ist. And that just means one who. So a pacifist is one who believes in pacifism. A chemist is one who studies or uses, does for a job chemistry. There's also a pharmacist. And back to the first one, a narcissist. So this person is narcissistic. They are a narcissist. All right, number three. This is I-T-Y or just T-Y. So itty or T. And this just shows that it means quality of. Here are a few examples. Dependability. So if someone has dependability, that means they have the quality of being dependable. Or serenity. So if something is serene, peaceful, lovely, it has the quality of serenity. Also, femininity. That's kind of a tongue twister. Femininity. It just means the quality of being feminine. So if something has femininity, it has the quality of being feminine. Number four, you've probably thought of before, it's S-H-I-P, so ship. The most common example is probably friendship, right? And that's actually just representing the position held. So if something is ending in the suffix ship, it is the position of being held. So friendship, you're holding that person in the position of friend. Or a relationship. It sounds kind of weird, but I think you understand the concept. So they're in that position of relation to you. So if someone says, what is your relationship with this person? They're saying, what position does this person have in your life? How are your, how is your relationship positioned. So of course the answer to that could be our relationship is mother daughter, our relationship is cousins, our relationship is boyfriend girlfriend whatever. We also have ownership and lastly 
maybe like an internship, right? You're at the position of intern. An internship is where you work for a company, usually when you're a student and you usually don't get paid. I think today we're starting to pay interns more, but traditionally you do it for free for the experience. So if you do an internship, you have the position of intern. All right, let's do the last one, number five. And that is ER or OR, so ER or ER. And that just means the one who. So for example, I am a teacher, the one who teaches. You are a learner, the one who learns. We have driver, conductor, speaker, narrator, etc. All right, so that's it for these five English suffixes. How about you take a look at each one one more time and see if you can find other words that also end in those suffixes. You can leave those for us in the comments below and bonus points if you use them in a sentence. Also, if you're ready for a little more practice, why don't you check out the Lingoni English app? There we have accompanying worksheets for this video, as well as all of our videos, and interactive exercises to help take your learning to the next level. So check us out 